Hey there, everyone, and welcome to SideQuest, the non-adventure that Authors and Dragons does on weeks when, uh, when well, we don't feel like gaming. <laughs> Joining me today are Robert Bevan and, uh, and John Hartness, and I'm Rick Walteri. Say hi, guys. Hello. Hey, what's up? Uh, so how's everybody's, uh, everybody's weekend going? We're just coming out of the 4th of July uh, holiday weekend. Yeah. Wait, 4th of July is over? You can't tell it from my neighborhood because they're still blowing shit up <laughs> all the time. Yeah, I, um, my, I think the rest of my family didn't even realize 4th of July happened because we were in Korea. And uh, I pissed a bunch of people off online. So, yay. <laughs> what did you do this time? Um, the same thing I do every year. I, I I put the uh I put up my picture of a uh, of Trump with a with a stream of urine pouring into his mouth with the background of a Russian flag and it said celebrate urine dependence. What's what what cracks me up is uh is a, a lot of these people have been following you for a long time and yet you still always get people who act like this is brand new, like how dare you do something like this? It's yeah, like, I, where I, the I, fuck I, have I'm you been? Re- I'm recycling shit. <laughs> I'm not even being fucking originally <laughs> insulting. And, and nope. you, know, you know, wherever you stand politically, celebrate your independence. That's fucking brilliant. You know, I win. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, look, pee, fart, shit jokes, always yeah. funny, no matter what side of the aisle you're on. Yeah. I mean, there, there's there's no such thing as a golden shower that probably isn't that isn't funny. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, but you're always going to yeah. you're always going to get people who are butthurt about shit. But butthurt is actually a good uh, a good lead into uh, to our bonus action. I'm not touching you there. <laughs> nor would I nor nor would I ask you to. Bonus action. All right. <laughs> yes. Tickle the tank. For our bonus action, we're gonna we're gonna reach around to a to a. <laughs> <laughs> this is us yeah. on a Sunday morning, <laughs> or Monday night, or whatever time it is where Bob is. I don't I don't even fucking know. All yeah. Right. I, I just assume it's like a different planet, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we're going to lead in talking about uh, something that's uh, that that has a lot of people, uh, you know, all butthurt in the news, and that's uh, and that's the casting of uh, of the live action Little Mermaid movie and uh, the cast ca- casting of I guess Halle Bailey, um, not Halle not Halle Berry Berry, which I think at ninety nine percent of us uh, you know made the mistake of going why are they casting a you know fifty year old woman as uh, as Ariel here. <laughs> You know, her 21 Jump Street days are behind her. <laughs> that wasn't Halle Berry, bro. No? no. Well, that's... That was Holly Robinson, Holly, right? Holly, oh, Holly, Holly Robinson. Robinson. Holly Robinson. Oh, right. Holly oh, Robinson. Fuck, did I? Yeah. God damn. <laughs> You're thinking of shitty cat woman. I don't know why, but for some reason, I always, th- I, uh, I always thought Halle Berry was, was on 21 Jump Street. God, I'm a fucking idiot. Of course, I never watched the show, so that might have been why, but... <laughs> I not only watched it when it was out the first time, I rewatched it when it was on reruns in college, man. That was my jam. I wanted to grow up to be Richard Grieco. <laughs> he did a lot of drugs, so I guess I kind of did grow up to be Richard Grieco. Yeah, I was just kind of hoping that would mean Ariel would not wear the coconut shell bra and we could see Halle Berry's boobs again. But apparently it's not Halle Berry. So. Well, wait, wait, slow down. How old is the girl that's playing this before you say you want to see her boobs? <laughs> <laughs> it's the rule of boobs, Bob. You've seen one pair. You want to see them all. Yes, but you don't want to see. Uh, you don't want to see underage boobs. Who's playing this, John? Oh no, she's like twenty-five or something. Right. She's she's nineteen. She's what? Whoa. Oh well, John's okay, that's, skirting the edge there. <laughs> that's gross. Yeah, but that, not that's not going to get you. That's going to get you some side eye, but but not put you on any lists. I mean, if I was a senator, that'd be fine. I grew up in South Carolina, man. Strom Thurmond literally went trolling beauty pageants for his wives. That doesn't surprise me in the least. <laughs> no, what surprises you looking at Strom Thurmond is that he found them. <laughs> <laughs> well, especially I think since he's dead, so hopefully she, she he won't be trolling for her as uh, as his next. Uh... But anyway, a lot of pe- a lot of people have been uh, have been up in arms because uh, you know she's African American and. And they're all like, "Oh my God, Ariel must be like a lily white, uh, I, I guess uh, a, li- a lily white rich conservative or whatever the fuck they're saying." Ariel sh- is supposed to be a ginger. What? <laughs> nah, I mean, what I posted the other day was that, well, 
I'd be a fucking better Ariel than this chick because I'm shaped like a manatee. <laughs> and manatees are mistaken for mermaids. So I mean, yeah. get get scurvy and I'll wear a fucking coconut yeah, I mean, bra. And I mean, there you go. You're trying to quote unquote use science to like describe how how a quote unquote mermaid would look. And they're like, no, no, there wouldn't be melatonin in the skin because like, you know, deep down in the sea. But you're right. There would there would be a heavy layer of blubber. <laughs> Holy shit. Right. Is that what the arguments are? Yes. It's great. Jesus Christ. You think... Wait, there are, like, real arguments? People are saying she wouldn't have melatonin because she's that far deep in the sea, but she'd look like like, like Ariel? Like the cartoon Ariel? Ireland is not that far underwater. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> the, the, the straws people are grasping at just to, like, you know, just to try to, like, you know, to not say, fuck it, I'm a racist... You know, it's 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 just pathetic. The only character that has to be white, the only Disney princess character that has to be white, is Snow White because it's a fucking name. And uh, the only one I think that has to be black is uh, Tiana because that's important to the story. Didn't they whitewash Mulan? Didn't they like redo a like a Mulan stage version with a white chick? I don't. Know. I, I never. I don't think because that kind of that doesn't work yeah. either. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, you, it's like, yeah, you, you don't really cast Scarlett Johansson as Mulan. <laughs> well. In, in your sick fantasies, maybe you do, but. I was just thinking that anime flick where they cast Scarlett Ex exact, Johansson as they. Exactly. Yeah. Ghost yep. in the Shell. I mean, Rick, you've probably gotten these emails and reviews, too, about, well, vampires don't really work that way. Because fictional creatures do whatever the creator fucking wants them to do. Oh, yeah. I, I, I get those every so often. Um, I did. I, I also got, I've gotten a, a few along the lines of my vampire Alexander the Great. They're like he wouldn't act that way. I'm like, oh, okay. So, so it's I take, you've had conversations with this uh, this two thousand year old uh, dead guy. <laughs> he would sparkle more. <laughs> I mean, that's what drives me nuts about this whole. I mean, yeah, do whatever you have to do to sleep at night to justify your fucking racism, but don't be fucking stupid. If if it's a fictional being that doesn't exist, then it does whatever anybody fucking wants. And where's the goddamn outcry because Will Smith wasn't blue? Wait, he was blue, wasn't he? Oh, no. I thought he was. Yes, he was. was he? I think was so. He? Yeah, he's fucking blue as uh, shit. <laughs> I haven't seen it. Probably not the right turn of phrase, but he, he's really blue. <laughs> if your shit is blue, then I don't know what the fuck you're eating. No, no, okay. he was totally blue. I mean, all right, so that analogy yeah. doesn't work. There was the same shit when the, when they like you know when they did Fantastic Four and they cast Michael B. Jordan as like Johnny Storm. Was, oh no, 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 he's he's blonde and blue blue eyed. Now the, that that movie in that case, it's perfectly okay to hate it because the movie itself sucked. But yeah, you know, wait, 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 slow down a second. Was this? I I heard there was like an outcry because there was like fast Fantastic Four. Where, like, brothers and sisters were different races? Is this what we're talking about? Yeah. That, yeah. too. That was another justification. But no, was there? Was this the same thing I'm talking about, though? Yes. Because yeah. Yeah. I don't remember seeing that movie. Was, you don't, you don't want to made? Yes. Count yourself yeah, that, 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 that's an eye. That's a fork in the eyeball movie. <laughs> what? Uh, which? Because I saw two different Fantastic Four movies. Was there a third? Yes. There's yes. actually four Fantastic Four movies out there. God damn it! There's the super yeah, Wait, there's what? the super cheap one that technically was never released, but you can find oh. on YouTube. Um, right, the Roger yeah. There's Foreman. the two with Michael Chiklis as the thing, and uh, and there's the one where the thing doesn't wear pants. Exactly, where Johnny Storm is black and Sue Storm is white. Ah, uh, that's the one I heard all the outcry yes. about. Yes. But yeah, and it is so the least of the movies' problems. Yeah. Well, I mean, the least of the story's problem, because, ah, man, that's, you know, it, it's no secret here. I'm no big fan of superhero movies, but the Fantastic Four especially gets under my skin <laughs> as an entity, because just the premise is so fucking stupid. I hate it so much. <laughs> I, I hate it because they tend to be boring stories, but... Fuck you both. I love the Fantastic Four. <laughs> <sighs> 
Well, yeah. you're allowed to be wrong, yeah. Rick. But, it's but, fine. but getting, getting delayed. No, no, that's fine. That's yeah, fine. I, I'm not, I, I hate most of this shit. Yeah. But, <laughs> yeah, I mean, my, my, thing, my yeah. thing is casting choices, like, you know, though, I'm like, I'm like, you know, something, you know, it, well, assuming they paid me enough, I mean, let's be honest. I mean, if they took my characters, they could make. Bill African American, they make Sally like you know an old Chinese woman. They make Bill, <laughs> Bill's roommates two Pomeranians, you know. Now I would prefer it not suck. I'd pay to yeah, see that. Yeah, I would that. prefer the movie not suck because it sequels. But uh, but you know something, the, the whole the whole thing is get the right actor for the part. And you know something, the right actor is not always a look. The right actor is usually how well they can like you know how well they can pull it off. Oh man, I got the same shit going on in my books. We're talking. I'm talking with some new guys about uh you know developing it for uh, film and shit and they, you know we're talking like well somebody said you know could one of the guys be black and uh, yeah okay nothing against that however the story is kind of about a bunch of uh, rednecks adapting to racism in a different like a whole different like mm-hmm. superset of racism in my mind it's kind of important that they're white because uh. Because a lot of your humor yeah. works off of the fact that they're stupid white guys, right? <laughs> yeah, and which which that that in that case that that makes sense, you know. For for example, I mean, if if you have a, if you have a story that is set in like you know in ancient Asia about like you know ancient warlords and stuff, yeah, you would there there's you're kind of ask, you're kind of like you know saying okay, we should be casting as as a certain race that makes sense. Um, well, you know, if it's, if it's Tom that maybe Tom Cruise isn't yeah. the right choice. <laughs> you know, odd, oddly enough, maybe, maybe not, you know. <laughs> <laughs> He's the right height for an Asian adult, <laughs> but otherwise, yeah. yeah. Oh, man, I, not just Tom Cruise, but I saw, have you guys seen The Great Wall uh, with no. Matt Damon? Oh, yes, I, I, saw, uh, yes thing, I, but, it, uh, I saw that. It was <laughs> fucking terrible. <laughs> <laughs> That's everything I've ever heard about it was it was oh, fucking yeah. terrible, so I haven't I hadn't even heard of it before it. until a couple of nights ago. <laughs> yeah, it, it's Matt Damon in Asia against monsters trying to invade Mongolia or whatever the fuck. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. It, it's it's that. That could be could awesome. be, but isn't no, it's uh, uh <laughs> didn't look to be. So they didn't do any like tongue in cheek or camp to it. Oh no, I think there's plenty of camp, but you know something, here's the thing with, with camp. You can make camp work, but you can just as easily have camp in a movie and the movie still sucks. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I mean, when we were talking about developing Harker for a series, we were talking about flipping Harker into a black woman. And I was like, okay, if it works for the story you're telling, because especially when you're adapting books to tv and movies you're changing yeah. mediums you know you're you're definitely changing form and i mean you get a little of that with this because you're changing a hans christian anderson story from way back that's dark as fuck into a contemporary live action movie so i don't know man but I mean, I guess at the end of the day, did did race play into the story at all? Not no. Most of the cast isn't even human. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, true. Uh, yeah. I mean, if it's live action, are they going to have the singing crab? Because I like the singing crab. I would imagine. I mean, I mean, here's here seems to be kind of Disney's formula for for uh, for the for this for for making something and then just continually raking in money for eternity is make the cartoon. Then put it on Broadway and make a shitload more, and then make and now they're doing the whole let's make a live action movie and make a shitload more, and I'm sure like you know in in five years it'll be oh here's Little Mermaid the like the VR experience to rake in a shitload more. <laughs> well, if it's anything like Beauty and the Beast, I mean it'll be all the humanish like including mermaid characters yeah. will be played by humans, and then you know crabs and fish and shit will be CGI, and whether or not a yeah, whether or not it'll be good CGI, you know, well, whatever. <laughs> yeah. I don't care, because I don't give a shit about The Little Mermaid at yeah. all. You know, you know what would make me yeah, give, give a shit about The Little Mermaid? Cast Samuel L. Jackson as, like, as King Triton. <laughs> oh, I thought he was going to cast him as, as, as The Little Mermaid. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Or as the I'd prince. I, you know something? You're right. Cast Samuel L. Jackson as, as any or all the parts, and I would be there in a second. <laughs> yeah. 
Samuel L. Jackson in a coconut bra, I'm in. <laughs> wow, that's a visual. We're going to have to pause recording while I go do five shots real fast. And he could be King Triton. Still keep the coconut bra, but I want his uh, uh, Django hair. Ooh. And, the gla- and like those little round glasses he's wearing all the time in interviews <laughs> yeah. now. Oh, and a lightsaber, because <laughs> Disney owns Star Wars now. He can have his fucking lightsaber. Oh, man. All right. You're welcome, Disney. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry we got we cut it too close there, but go 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 edit. Don't forget an eye patch too, because yeah. Disney owns Marvel. Yes. So so Nick Nick Fury, Agents of Jedi, who's King of the Sea. Django Mace Fury. I, I still think this could work as Ariel. Yeah, Ariel with a lightsaber. Ah, uh, she'd be a badass. She could stay mute and be a badass. That shark wouldn't have a chance. Yeah, or so it's like, give me your voice. <laughs> Chopped in half. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Hey, Ursula, uh, do what I want or I'll just cut off pieces of you. Well, it's probably, uh, probably a decent time to uh, to transition to our main topic, which was, uh, you know, we, we led in with a Disney topic, but uh, the main topic this week was talking about Disney Disney villains and uh, and who, assuming any, we thought were like, you know, kind of, I guess, the best or the most effective in uh, in their stories. Was it the best? I thought it was like the worst. Eh, we could do it. We could. We. You know something. We could do. We could do whatever the fuck we want. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fuck you. Yeah. We have no adults. Yeah. Drew. Drew's not here so. to tell us what to do. So. Because <laughs> <laughs> when Drew Hayes is your adult supervision, you know you're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's go way back. The wicked. The wicked witch in Snow White was pretty damn effective. Was she Maleficent, or was she even called that then, or... She wasn't called that in the original, I don't think. All right. I think it... I think it was... I think that is who it Wait, no, she was. had to be. Well, maybe not in the original story, but by the time Disney did it... Maybe. All right, I want to say yes, but all right, we all know who you're talking about. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah, I think she was really... She was really villainous. You know, when she turned into the old woman, she was ugly as shit. She was scary. When she was herself, she was beautiful and scary. And the whole charging into her castle shit was scary and thorns and dark shadows. She was a fucking villain, man. See, I, she was like Darth Vader with see, boobs. I disagree. Because you have okay. this evil queen here and her whole thing is... I'm pissed off because my daughter's going to be better looking than, than me. So she goes through this whole complex plot. You have, when you she, have only sons. And she goes through this whole complex plot <laughs> when the reality is, you're the fucking queen. Hand a hobo a bag of gold to just like, you know, just, just rub Snow, fi- Snow White's face in a lick, you know, in broken glass. There, problem solved. Instead, she goes through this whole complex thing of, oh, I'm going to transfer myself into an old lady and here's a poison apple that doesn't even fucking kill her. You know, it's it's like, come on. If you want her dead, there's so many more effective ways to do it. I mean, in theory, one could argue she's pretty... E- I mean, if she knew that the dwarves were there and she was essentially like, you know, roofing Snow White, knowing that these horny dwarves are going to like drag her away, that is pretty fucking evil. But I don't think she was, uh, she was aware of that. <laughs> but again villain villains villains fuck up they have to monologue to give the hero time to undo all of their plot they have to twirl their mustache stroke the cat whatever who is the that's, hero that's though what, Let me, give the hero time the heroes fucking came out of nowhere and uh molested a woman in her sleep <laughs> okay yeah there There's are that. no heroes in snow white <laughs> I I was actually gonna pick Snow White too, which maybe makes this boring, but I, but for a different reason. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know, the the queen has got this magic mirror. This this mirror knows all kinds of shit. It knows like it can objectively tell you who's the most beautiful woman in the world, like at the drop of a hat. But, how much better shit could you be using this mirror for? But this woman uses it you know, to say, am, do you think I'm pretty? <laughs> and <laughs> So she's the best villain because she's petty as shit? Well, no, because I, I thought we were doing the worst villain. And, and that's why uh, I was picking that. But anyway, still, the point stands. And uh, that, oh, that sucks. 
<laughs> but yeah, she could have just fucking murdered her. No. She sent out a huntsman, whatever. I don't, I don't give a shit. That, that mirror thing pisses me off. She could have been helping her people. Or she could have been taking over the world. If you yeah. want to be, if you want to be evil, be like, oh, mirror, mirror on the wall. Oh, you want to know who's pretty? Fuck that. Tell me, tell me my enemy's battle plans. <laughs> right. You got all the knowledge in the fucking mirror, and and no, oh, do you, do you think I'm pretty? Really? I'm fucking insecure. Pissing me off. <sighs> I can imagine the mirror just like going, just just going batshit nuts. It's like, hey, hey, evil queen. Would you like, to, would you like to know? I mean, the location of your your. The, the assassins that are plotting against you, maybe like the world's most powerful magical artifact. Oh, oh, there's a dragon beneath. No, no, tell me who's prettier than me. <laughs> <laughs> also, also, what, what, what counts as pretty? Oh, hey, there's someone who's suddenly whiter than you now. <laughs> <laughs> And we're back. <laughs> yeah, who's the fairest one of them all? It's like, l- listen, bitch, there's a whole bunch of nerds in their mom's basements who haven't seen the sun in years. <laughs> oh, man. So. Jafar, Jafar's pretty evil. Jafar's pre- pretty evil. And you, you know what I like about Jafar is a lot of, like, a lot of the, the Disney villains, you're right, they're petty. And they're after petty things, that, which is kind of their downfall. And Jafar is kind of after petty, you know, he, he does want to get some jasmine there. But, uh. At least he thinks big. That's he's like, petty. you know, he's like, he's like, yeah, make make me all fucking powerful, motherfucker. <laughs> Probably my choice for if we're, like we can get the like worst because there's a lot of really shitty villains in uh, Disney. But I think my my vote for most effective would probably be the Queen of Hearts from Alice in Wonderland, only because one, I think she's like one of the few who technically did not lose at the end, and three, the I, I, there's something about being batshit insane, you know, that basically just just. Render somebody really hard to beat. <laughs> uh, yeah. See, Joker. The. I uh, I hiccup before uh, when when John brought up um, Aladdin uh, Jafar because uh, there's just so many other problems I have with Aladdin. Um, just you know, one of his wishes was to become a prince, and he did that, and it, it not just look like a prince. He was a fucking prince, and uh, <laughs> and that all kind of went to nothing. I forgot, and now I forget again where I was going with that. But uh, <laughs> and that pissed me off. Um, one of one of my favorites was uh, uh, Doctor Facilier from um, the 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 fro- uh, Princess and the Frog. I uh, I didn't particularly like the movie very much because I'm from Louisiana, and it's always grating when anyone tries to do anything with people that aren't from Louisiana try, trying to sound like they're from Louisiana. <laughs> and and that's that whole fucking movie. God damn. Oh, you 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 would have hated my last D&D campaign cuz <laughs> I was pl- I was playing this character who just inexplicably had a Cajun accent. <laughs> no, no, no. You know what? If if you if you're like making fun of it, go for it. But if you if you like just trying to make a real movie and shit, and, and everybody's like, "Oh, I met the governor down by the river," and nah. don't you know? <laughs> <laughs> when when you guarantee everything, yeah, Man, fuck that. That, that movie, uh, and it could have been. They had good songs and shit, and, and as, but goddamn, they really went went for it with the accents. But who's the villain? I don't know shit about that movie. Um, he was this good, this evil dude, and he had, uh, like a trickster and a a voodoo guy, and um, he was cool. I liked him, and um, and 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 when it when he got his comeuppance, it was pretty fucking scary. It was, uh, they had some uh, trippy shit in there, so uh, I, I'm gonna go for him for my favorite. Okay, that's cool. <sighs> who's my? F- well, I mean, Maleficent was effective, but who's my favorite? Yeah, that's a good. Uh... I mean, most of the people I really hate in Disney films aren't the villains. Like, fucking Jiminy Cricket, <laughs> fuck that guy. Mouthy little insect, squash that some bitch and do what you want, Pinocchio. Oh, you know who I liked? I kind of liked Scar from Lion King. Because yes. this is this is this is a guy who like you know 
who he just knows physically, he's like at the, pretty much the bottom of like, you know, the food chain with regards to lions. But he's just this smarmy dirtbag. And he's and he doesn't even pretend to be something else. Yeah, he's for all of the Claudius remakes. He's a pretty damn good Claudius. Oh, and, and also, let me as far as evil goes. You know, since he since he killed off his brother and he took over his brother's pride, that means that yes, he was banging Mufasa's uh, you know wife, uh, Simba's mom. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Man, if, if if you want to go down that rabbit hole, I mean, the 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 number of male lions in a pride to females and and their positions, like uh, Simba and and what's her name, Nala. N- yeah, they were either. Siblings or, or clo- cousins. <laughs> so we're back to Louisiana, is what you're saying. <laughs> I guarantee. <laughs> yeah, Scar was pretty good. <laughs> I mean, all of Lion King was a really good Hamlet remake. Even with Timon and Pumbaa being uh, Rosencrantz and Guildenstern, that whole was thing. Was it a Hamlet remake or was it a remake of some Japanese shit? That was no. no, it was a Hamlet remake. Because sure? unless there was Japanese shit before Hamlet, no, well, not before Hamlet, but maybe the Japanese shit was a Hamlet remake. I I thought I read something about this. That uh, might have been. Yeah, I don't know much Japanese stuff. I don't either. I, I just know. read the. I know yeah. from Hamlet. Yeah, I mean, pretty pretty much when it comes to like you know, I think Japanese stuff, it's like ninety nine percent of what's been ripped off has been like Seven Samurai. I think. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, if you're going to steal mm. steal from Kurosawa, it doesn't get much fucking That's better. True. All right, so least effective. Uh, I'm kind of back to Jiminy Cricket. He sucks. <laughs> well, not, are we talking about villains or, or just characters now? Yeah. He's a villain to me because I'm moral crickets. Racist? Yeah. Johnny only, you know, John only likes the amoral crickets. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah you, should, you should go to that donkey show in Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> I like my crickets to be locusts, bitch. Kill everything. <sighs> Least effective Disney villains. Uh, I'm trying to think. I mean, Ursula kind of thinks pretty small. I stole a bitch's voice. Oh, do you want to? Th- you want to know who thinks pretty small? Corella Deville. You know, uh, my, I, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm <laughs> gonna, bet, go. I'm gonna bet everything because I want to skin some puppies. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I, I don't know if I can. Beat that. Uh, but no, John, you had a point too. Ursula, I mean, what's her big game? Oh, no. Well, she was trying to like be the sea queen or whatever and steal the crown or or the trident. Or, yeah, but, but she stole a bitch's know. voice. I, I didn't care. <laughs> uh, any of the scenes that didn't have the crab in it, I didn't give a shit. <laughs> I did a show for that dude once. The guy that voiced the crab, he sang at a kid's concert and I ran Spotlight for it. Yeah. Fucking concert started at 8 o'clock in the morning. That gig sucked. What are, what other Disney movies have there? Well, I haven't seen a bunch. Like, I haven't seen Pocahontas. I'm assuming yeah. the are the white dudes the villains? Cause, well, not uh, not all the white dudes. I think, you know, John Smith was a hero, wasn't he? Shit, and I don't know. the love interest. I don't know. I haven't seen it either. And I haven't seen The Hunchback of Notre Dame. That was actually dark as shit, but it was also... It, one, yeah, it was dark, fucking but... has it, to be. But it also wasn't very good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I've seen Beauty and the Beast. Gaston's a dick. Gaston's a fucking prick. Yeah, he's a prick, but he, got, but he gets a really good song. <laughs> it is a good song. <laughs> All right, uh, but if we're talking ineffective, he didn't do shit. Yeah. <laughs> he just went up there and fucking died. Yeah, I mean a lot, a lot of them. I mean, I mean one one could one could argue, you know, Captain Hook is probably the shittiest pirate in the on the planet because like you know his entire thing is like yeah I want I want to be I want to be Lord of like Boy Island there and he can't even <laughs> pull that off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I have all the inappropriate boy jo- boy rape jokes there. <laughs> want to be king of Boy Island, right? Although, although no. in all fairness, I did. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably one of those few people, but I really did like uh, the live action when they did Hook, you know, with Dustin Hoffman and uh, Robin Williams. I I actually Hook's was, great. I thought that was awesome. It's a fucking great movie. Are there people that don't like? Yeah, Hulk? well, when I it didn't see it then, but I have watched pieces of it recently, and yeah, I mean, I like their performances, but 
on the whole, like just the the Lost Boys were annoying. Ah oh, man, I love Lost Boys. I liked Hook when it came out. Yeah, I might have if I if I'd seen it then. Just like uh, yeah, fucking ah, uh, uh, what the uh, uh, the 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 D and D novels, Dragonlance. Like I wish yeah. I had read them when they came out because. I, I read them more recently because I figured, you know, since I write this genre, I should probably be familiar with it. And uh, Yeah, I don't know if they're going to hold up real nah, well. No, they're just really corny and, like, uh, I don't care. Yeah, it's, And it's, that's kind of what I felt like with The Lost Boys and Hook. Yeah, there is, there is definitely a 90s vibe to that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I dug the Dragonlance books when I read them, but I haven't read them in probably 20 years so, or more. So... I don't know that they hold up all that well. I'm sure we'll get listeners who do not hesitate to tell the to tell us exactly how well they hold up. Mm. Oh, <laughs> oh! Here's here, if you want to talk about un, an ineffective villain, the evil stepmother in Cinderella, because technically, all she does I mean, there's there's really no no nothing to her evil other than okay, these sheets are dirty. You know, go bleach them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And the stepsisters are even worse. They're just like, meh, meh, meh. <laughs> they don't do anything. And in the Disney movie, they don't even cut off parts of their feet to try and fit in the slippers, <laughs> so you don't even get the fun parts. <laughs> Jesus, I wasn't aware of this. You, you know, you know what, yeah. was, what was hilarious? And year, years ago, they made a softcore version of C- Cinderella w- that's also a musical. And what? it is one of the funniest fucking things I have ever seen. So Cinderella, Cinderella with boobs and musical numbers? Exactly. Fuck, how do I find this? I'm, I'm not... Well, probably Google, but... Yeah. I mean, I'm a theater nerd. That's everything I want in life. Boobs and dancing. Yeah, and like, it, it's... it's I remember, I remember it's terrible, but it's hilarious at the same time because they they like th- you can tell they they just had fun with this movie because they were just like we know what we're making we know this is not highbrow and there's just so much funny shit going on. Are there villains in the High School Musical movies? Because those are Disney, aren't they? Well, I mean, if if we want to step away from the cartoons, technically almost everything out there is Disney. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, but I mean, Star Wars and shit weren't. Disney when they were created. Yeah, I guess High School Musical, Pirates of the Caribbean, all that shit. Yeah. And I actually, I actually did, I, I will admit, uh, I really liked Davy Jones from uh, from the second Pirates of the Caribbean movie. You did? that. He fucking pissed me off. That's why <laughs> I, I hated everything after the first movie. Oh my god, it's, 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 like, it's like I'm the anti-Bob here. <laughs> oh god. Well, was... that works. One of you just grow a goatee and you'll be like, the evil version of each other from Star Trek. This is kind of the same thing that pisses me off about superhero things too. Just uh, it's it's just a theme. There's no logical reason this would be work. There's a, like all right, all the evil people now have aquatic features. Yeah, you know, this guy's got a squid face. This guy, whatever. You know, Ant Man. He's he's like a. He, he can shrink down to the size of an ant. Also, he can communicate with an ant. And that... Uh, is that related? No. Fuck no. It's just, <laughs> fuck all of you. I hate you. Uh, you, you, I, just, you, you know, I, I will admit there are certain things that... Uh, along those lines that annoy me like especially with dc like dc if your name is a certain thing oh your name is victor freeze yeah you're gonna be you're 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 at some point gonna fall into a vat of liquid nitrogen and become a a cold base villain you know if your first name is ivy you're going to end up with plant powers you know i can i can i can forgive the name coincidences a little bit but it's just when you know they they just take a a theme rather than trying to explain as, no, not trying to explain it scientifically because they do try to explain it scientifically and that's the bit that pisses me off. <laughs> God damn it. This is great. It's, it's, I was Get just gonna, all fired up. Yeah, I was just going to say, like, you know, I, 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 I like Bill Nighy and I just liked his, uh, the attitude he put into uh, Davy Jones. But, you know, but hey, okay, okay since he's a squid-based oh, oh, villain, we'll just I, I back totally up the fucking I totally forgot what we were talking about. I haven't seen any of the ones past the first one, and really the only thing I remember is Johnny Depp. 
I saw the second one, and and that's exactly the sort of shit why I didn't see the third one. Were there four? No, there's like like eleven now or something. I don't know. There's Jesus, fucking too many. But um, you know, I guess I guess we're just going off the rails here. Um, <laughs> what, uh, Us? You don't say. <laughs> what I wanted to see from the second Pirates of the Caribbean movie was a uh, uh, bootstrap Bill. And we got him, but he's a fucking loser. What I wanted to see was him as the main villain because they, they tossed him off the ship in the you know, before the first movie, and he's he's got a cannon strapped to his bootstraps or whatever. He's in the crushing depths of the ocean, but unable to die. And he eventually got out of that like way after his his uh, sanity left him, and he was gonna just be this badass motherfucker, but now he's just a fucking loser. <laughs> yeah, the way you describe him, he sounds like a really good villain. Yeah, he would have been. This is this Missed is this is what I started thinking about after I watched Pirates of the Caribbean for like the sixth time in the movie theater. Wow. So you liked the film a little. <laughs> I, well, I did, and I had taken a trip to Europe, and the, the guy I went with and I, we didn't, I don't know, we needed some cheap entertainment, so we went okay. to the same movie a lot. And, and, oh, man, you can drink liquor in movie theaters there. It was great. <laughs> you can, do, depending on the theater, you can do that here. Yeah. Uh, drunk, drunk Pirates of the Caribbean actually sounds like fun. That was brilliant. I, I guess, I mean, I guess technically you could also look at the, the Pixar movies as uh, as as Disney. I was just looking at those. Um, I was looking Up as one of the most boring ones. And uh, is there a is there a bad guy in Up? I haven't watched past it for five minutes of Up. <laughs> oh god! Yeah. yeah, I haven't seen. I haven't seen it. Yeah, I mean the guy's house goes up with balloons. Neat. And that's as much of Up as I want to see. But yeah, there was a bad guy later, and I don't, I don't really remember him very well. Like long. maybe a dude in a blimp or something, something like that. He had a hat or something. I don't know. I don't know. The bad guys are the air traffic controllers, or like you're, you're floating over Laguardia, fucked hard. <laughs> <laughs> That'll shut down all yeah. departures from Laguardia for four hours. But I'm sad because my wife died. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> See what happens when we shoot all these fucking balloons, asshole. <laughs> You'll be sad then for about five seconds. Wow, we are some heartless motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, I, I love, I love the Pixar movies, but at the same time, all those like Pixar and DreamWorks movies, like all those like CGI movies, they also piss me off because. They're kind of a cool Marvel, but at the same time, if you step back and you just look at the stories, the stories are just so fucking just cookie cutter, recycled, but just with like, you know, lots of cutesy special oh, yeah. effects and like, you know, and good voice and like fun voice acting thrown in. But it's like, you know, it's, it's it, when, when you step back and like watch Toy Story, it is 100% obvious what is going to fuck to happen in Toy Story. You know, when you watch The Incredibles, it is 100% obvious. Dude, when you watch Wreck-It Ralph, when you watch, you know, the only one that the only one that maybe got a little clever there was maybe like the first Shrek. The first Shrek was awesome. Toy Story, Wreck-It Ralph, what, uh, what, 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 what was the obvious parts? Just like, you know, just the plot, because... Toy Story and Wreck-It Ralph, they, they both follow that whole two, two, two people who shouldn't be, who probably wouldn't, nef- wouldn't be friends, end up in the same situation, they go through a few adventures, you know one of them is going to get their feelings hurt, oh, go, go off, but oh, at the end they'll make up, and just in time to like beat whatever the fuck they're trying to beat. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a buddy cop movie. Yeah, I don't have too much of a problem with that. Uh, I mean, even Shrek fucking did, did, did that. I... Yeah, yeah but you, you gave Shrek a pass, but uh, I gave it a pass because it was because it was clever. You gave Shrek one specifically a pass, but I I thought I really enjoyed Shrek two more. You know what pissed me off about Shrek two, and I didn't realize it pissed me off until uh, until a college friend of mine pointed this out. But he was like, he was like, you know what annoys me about Shrek two? He's like, at the end, he's like, he's like the whole the whole thing the whole point of it is you should be happy being who you are. But he's, but he's like, that's bullshit. T- 
take anybody who's unattractive and basically give them a magic potion and say, you could be the most beautiful person in the world, do you think they're going to go back to the way they fucking were? <laughs> Fuck no. Yeah, Drinking out potion, bitch. Yeah, you, 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 you walk, somebody walks up to me and be like, it's like, yo, dude, I, I know you're, you're pretty cool at your place in life, you know. You can either go through that and just keep being a writer, or I have this potion of instant Johnny Depp here. <laughs> <laughs> give me, give me that, give me that mother, that motherfucking shit. Rick Walteri, you could look like Robert Bevan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I hate to break it to you, Bob, but I think he drank that oh one my already. God, I think somebody <laughs> roofed. I think somebody roofied me with that one. <laughs> but yeah, fuck yeah! Somebody comes along and it's like, hey, would you like a glass of Jason Momoa here? <laughs> Well, okay, maybe that. Maybe okay, that's hold the, on. Maybe that's the wrong way of putting that. <laughs> I, I think it might be exactly the right way to phrase that, but sure, Rick, whatever. We know how we know how many times you saw Aquaman in the theaters. This is really salty. It didn't change me at all. <laughs> you mean if I drink all of it, I'll look like him? <laughs> Well, you're going to have to drink a couple of glasses a day now. <laughs> just just putting it out there. But yeah, that's what that's what kind of ticks me off about the, about the animated movies. What, blowing Jason Momoa? Well, the, oh, wait, no, something completely different. The, you don't mind the blowing Jason Momoa bit. I was just saying, really, really the only of the of those animated movies that I think stepped out of the box a little bit was probably Sausage Party. Because that the... the wait, sp- Sausage sp- Party did What? It's not Disney. It's just, but I'm I'm kind of lumping all of those CGI animated cutesy movies in together. I thought that was a Tom Green film, or is there a different Sausage Party? Um, there's an animated one with a hot dog and a bun that pretty much just want to spend the entire movie fucking. I haven't seen it, but I know what it's talking about. Yeah. Uh okay. I, I must. Did that come out about the same time as the Emoji movie? Because fuck that too. It might have been around that time. I do remember okay. that I took my kids to see that because I knew it was going to be R rated, you know. And I was like, "All right, fine, you know." I'll, 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 but the kids wanted to see it. They thought it would be funny. I was like, "Fine, you know, they're old enough." <laughs> and I took them to see him, and uh, and the ending scene. I remember I came out, and my my middle son was like, "Wow, you totally destroyed my childhood with that by taking me to see that." <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, I want to go on YouTube and see if I can just see the ending scene now. <laughs> but really, if it's your kid, how how unfucked could their childhood be? There, there, there is that to take into account. <laughs> uh, yeah, now, now we're definitely going off the rails here. <laughs> we haven't been anywhere close to yeah. the rails. And all right, any other, any other Disney Disney villains worth uh, worth talking about? Whether whether because we like them or because we think they suck. Uh, um, Jason well, Momoa. Gonna, just Google <laughs> Disney villains and see what comes up. That's what I did. <laughs> Oh. I'll admit, I got a cheat sheet in front of me right here. Maybe I should have paid more attention to my prep. And I'll admit, there's some people here, I have no fucking idea who the, who the hell they are. <laughs> I'm like, the Horned King from the Black Cauldron, who the fuck is that? The what? Oh, man, yeah, there are a lot of fucking people here. Oh, Shere Khan. Shere Khan was cool. You know, is it wrong to say I like Shere Khan much better when Disney was doing their whole, like, you know, DuckTales, like, you know, Darkwing Duck thing? I mean, yes, but sure, go ahead and say it. Yeah, well, they made they made <laughs> The Jungle Book into one of those shows called Tailspin, and Shere Khan was essentially this, this just, like, you know, just almost Lex Luthor, like, you know, rich guy type. As a oh, well, and it yeah, was, yeah it, was, it was, I actually kind of liked him. <laughs> yeah, I don't know who half these fucking people are. Hans from Frozen is the villain? Absolutely, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, sure. And I'm looking at the... I, I thought I was looking at the same list you are, but I don't even see that. But, uh, yeah, Hans. Oh. Yeah, I mean, he was, he was a surprise villain. Okay, yeah. He was the subverted love interest. Yeah. Oh, you know who's great? If we're talking, if we're mentioning the Disney shows, in the new DuckTales, Flint Hart Glomgold is just the funniest fucking thing. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I know, I know, that. I know. Drew is like has talked the shit of it, and he got me to watch it. And the there's just so many, so many inside jokes, and like the, they they turned like that that character from like you know a rival of Scrooge McDuck, and they just turned him up to like eleven into like the batshit category. <laughs> I forgot who the bad guy in Fantasia was because I've never watched that movie when I wasn't tripping. Hmm. So I've never watched that movie all the way through. I'll no, admit, I haven't either. 
I don't know if I watched the whole thing or not. I know it felt like I was watching it for a really long time, but <laughs> you just had it. You you were just stoned that it was on pause. <laughs> no, I was tripping on acid, <laughs> and I and I think we were going back and forth between that and Pink Floyd's The Wall, but no promises. All right. Well, well. Speaking of something similar, we can go back to Dumbo and. Uh... There's uh, other elephants that were making fun of Dumbo. Fuck those fat bitches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nobody's bitching about them, like, doing a live-action Dumbo, other than the fact that it looks like it's going to suck. I thought it came out already. Did it? Talking about the characters in the in the movie. Um, oh, in the new one? No, in, in, the, in the 1940s in the movie. Yeah. yeah. Fuck them. But uh, I don't know. What, is the live action movie is Dumbo Black or something? What, what's wrong? I don't know. All right. You know, I just, just realized stupid. Dumbo and Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer are pretty much the same story. Oh. Shit just got deep. <laughs> Except Rudolph's black. <laughs> <laughs> In my version, Samuel L. Jackson is Rudolph. God, you know something? I, I would pretty much watch Samuel Jackson as anything. <laughs> yeah, 100%. I'll light the way, motherfuckers. I mean, Jesus Christ, talk about a guy who could just quit acting and maybe, like, you know, and just devote the rest of his life to, to maybe just doing, let, like, voiceovers of movies. Or any th- voiceovers of anything. Yeah. It's like, yeah. yeah. Wasn't I could, that snakes I, I, on a plane? <laughs> It's like, I could watch Citizen Kane, or I could watch Citizen Kane with the Samuel Jackson voiceover. <laughs> That's brilliant. I wonder if he knows. Oh, I'm sure he knows. You, I don't you, know. You, you can't, you if, can't. if he knew, then why don't we have this? Maybe maybe, maybe he wants to make us beg. Because Samuel Jackson is awesome, but maybe he's also cruel. Oh. Damn it, Sammy! Samuel Jackson and David Attenborough narrating... What the fuck ever. Awesome stuff. Samuel L. Jackson is Maleficent. <laughs> <laughs> David Attenborough is Snow White. <laughs> anybody have any clo- anybody have any closing thoughts other than uh, Samuel Jackson and David Attenborough? I mean I mean, they're no Jason Momoa, but Yeah, maybe maybe remake Robin Hood with uh with uh, the rock and Jason Statham as uh, as the bad guys. <laughs> And they fucked it up every other way you can think of, so... Hmm. Yeah, I mean, you're not going to get any worse with uh, Robin Hood. Go for it. Yeah. <laughs> They're going to remake it again anyway. Might as well have yeah. some fun with it. All right. Disney, come up with better bad guys. Enough of the buddy movie bullshit. Original plots, motherfuckers. Yeah, fucking Disney. I wonder what the next thing they're going to make as a live action uh, will be. I, th- I think, I think they'll, purposely, they'll purposely piss you off and be like, you know... Like, Queen Latifah is Snow White. <laughs> <laughs> I would not probably enjoy it, because I don't care about the story, but I'd pay the ticket price to piss motherfuckers off. Yeah, I was going to say, I'd, 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 I'd enjoy the butt hurt. <laughs> 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 they wouldn't get my money, because I don't, because yeah, you're right, I don't, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not paying to those, you know, fucking Disney movies, but... Uh... But yeah, that's uh, there's there's something to be said about uh, about things that set off uh, that set off people online. Yeah, that's my career. All right, we'll uh, we'll catch you guys uh, we'll catch you guys next time on another side quest, uh, you know, and maybe we'll pick up a to- up a topic that uh, that that's a little a little 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 more easily to piss people off with. <laughs> I think we did well. I have faith in our ability to piss people off, and, and hopefully we shit on a few uh, childhoods. All right, everyone. We'll catch you next time. Bye. Night, night. Bye. Bye.